www.fansupermart.com In 2016, we have seen massive outflows from actively managed mutual funds to passively managed funds such as ETF. Any reason for that? Well, yeah, I think the numbers uh, speak for themselves. Uh, um, over the past three years, there's in fact been uh, one and three quarter trillion US dollars leaving, uh, uh, sorry, joining passive funds and uh, 760 billion US dollars leaving uh, active funds. So the evidence is there. And the reason for it, I think uh, you know, there have been some very successful passive funds that are very sensibly managed uh, and charge very, much lower fees than active fund managers. Uh, for example, Vanguard in the US has been uh, a, a big player. Uh, and with those lower fees, uh, um, you can uh, get the performance in a more pure form. Um, the other worrying statistic uh, is uh, this evidence that you know an increasing percentage some 85 percent of uh, active funds underperform uh, their benchmark uh, which you know on a normal reaction would make uh, buying passive funds uh, a no-brainer i think there's some evidence to show that uh, those data are slightly misleading uh, but if you buy a genuine high quality long-term fund manager that uh, does what it says it does and sticks to it uh, you can get out performance why should investors opt for active investment strategies and what are the advantages of it? Well, um, passive investment is all very well, um, but it is all backward looking. Uh, passive funds and ETFs uh, are based on indices and the constituents of indices are based on the company's market cap, its size, uh, its public float. Uh, and the amount of activity there is in that stock in any market uh, over a period of time. None of these three factors involve quality of management, long-term outlook, uh, honesty of uh, management, governance, ESG factors, anything qualitative uh, doesn't come in. And because they're backward looking, uh, if uh, Apple, uh, God forbid, uh, uh, in Cupertino or wherever it is based, uh, uh, suddenly uh, fell into the, uh, 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 the soil and disappeared, uh, as a passive fund manager, you still have to have exposure to it in a very large percentage. Um, uh, that's the disadvantage, I would say, of uh, passive funds. And it's rather like being at the bridge of a ship, uh, but only looking backwards uh, uh, and making your guidance on what's going on astern of you. Uh, whereas active fund managers make decisions about what's going to happen in the future and have a social role in asset allocation globally. What's your view on the US dollar? Is it a boon or a bane for the US economy as a whole? Well, I, I think uh, um, Mr. Trump's proposals, and he hasn't come to power yet, it's only a few days before he does, uh, but uh, he seems to want uh, to make America great again and bring a lot of American money back into the United States, bring a lot of American manufacturing businesses back in the United States. Uh, and that means a lot more buying of US dollars and selling of other currencies. And in order to have his stimulative fiscal uh, plans, apart from getting that money in from Americans overseas, he's got to borrow more money. Borrowing more money means higher interest rates. So all these things would indicate that uh, the US dollar is going to go up. However, I don't think there's anybody of the opposite view at the moment. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if the next tweet of uh, Mr. Uh, Trump will be, please, China, help us get uh, the US dollar down. Any major headwinds that investors should look out for within the developed markets? No, not really, apart from world war. Um, US dollar going through the roof, uh, rampant inflation, uh, the collapse of the European Union. Um, otherwise, it's fine. Now, there's all sorts of uh, uh, major macroeconomic problems on the horizon, as there probably is every year. But uh, I think there's more uncertainty this year because Mr. Trump is a real uh, unknown character and uh, a bit of a 
in some views, some people's views, a bit of an unguided missile. He seems to be being quite aggressive towards the Chinese. Uh, he seems to be quite aggressive towards Hillary. He seems to be quite aggressive to anybody who's a friend of Hillary. So, uh, so uh, we're in for a, a bumpy uh, year, but he wants America and the world to do better. Uh, his methods are not the monetarist methods that have been used over the past nine years. And it doesn't look as though they worked. So maybe this fiscal stimulus will work. Given that the global equity markets is likely to be volatile and full of uncertainty in 2017, what kind of approach should investors adopt when they invest in this kind of situation? Well, um, it's impossible to forecast what's going to happen in uh, uh, the world's economy, if you ask me. Uh, every year, uh, Forests uh, are, are, are knocked down to create the paper on which economists try and forecast the exchange rate between the ringgit and the US dollar, the yen against the US dollar, etc. Um, macroeconomic forecasting is, I think even economists, those dismal scientists, will forecast, uh, will say that uh, it's almost a waste of time. Um, but if you get to know companies, if you get your shoes on and get your briefcase out and you go and visit companies, and a company like Aberdeen is able to meet the senior management of a lot of large listed companies, and get to know them, find out if that company has a competitive advantage, find out if that company understands that what a minority shareholder's rights are, uh, finds out that that company has good governance and they have a long-term uh, potential for profitability, and you buy those companies, when the price is below what you think is the right value, I don't think over the long term you can go wrong. Um, maybe you can. Aberdeen's only been in pure fund management since uh, 1983, uh, but since then we've outperformed uh, most benchmarks by 3% per annum on an average rolling basis, and that's what we want to continue to do, and we believe the only way to do it is to go out and visit these companies. That means paying people to do it, so it means that our fees have to be slightly higher.